Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins and in this video I want to go over how to create this really cool paint overlay effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like. You have a couple of different paint effects right here. Now this is the free pack from Cinepax and of course you could actually buy the paid pack which probably costs 40 or $50. But I just want to go over what actually comes in the free pack because not everybody has $40, $50. Um, to spend on a pack so I'm basically going to go over a couple different ideas that I came up with and of course you can take your own like creative spin and your own creative twist on it these are just a couple ideas that I came up with um, again the download link is going to be in the description below so if you want to download this effect or download this pack you can go ahead head to the d uh, description um, and the link will be right there again this pack is from Cinepax right here so we'll just call this um, test right here and I'll basically just go over a couple ideas that I came up with and then I'll go to the original one right here um, it is, I'll try to do my best to like remember how I did everything but I'll go back to the original one in a second so what we'll do is we'll head over here and I'll just kind of give you a couple different ideas that I came up with um, and of course you can obviously whether you, you could use the effects or you could uh, kind of use your own ideas when it comes to this effect so I'm going to go ahead and just head down here and we'll go to the splatter medium right here. So I'll go ahead and place the effect right here. I'll go ahead and just play it right here. And this is what the effect looks like. This really cool kind of um, splatter effect right here. Now what I did was I head over, head over here. I went to slow. I went to 10% because I have to. And then I'll go back here. Go to custom right here. And I just typed in 60%. I just felt like this clip was way too um, fast. So I basically decreased the speed down to 60% right here. Uh, so let's hold down option. And then I basically just created a copy um, right here. So as you can see right here, this is slowed down to 60%, slowed down to 60%. So both of these are slowed down to 60% right here. Now basically what I did was I went up here to the color board right here. We'll create a new color board, went to the exposure, increase the exposure right here, increase the saturation, and then I turn the color to any color I want. I just chose blue right here. Go ahead and just disable the top clip right here. So you basically just want to mess with blue right here. Um, we'll just kind of mess with a blue color um, right there. And then see if that works. It's not quite working. Let's try this. See if it'll work right here. Okay, there you go. There's the blue. There's the blue effect right here. As you can see, you have this really cool blue outline right here. So let's go ahead and see if it works right there. As you can see right there. There we go. We have created this really cool blue um, outline right here. As you can see right here, let's disable this bottom clip right here. As you, and as you can see right here, you just have like white splatters. Um, right there, but if we enable the bottom clip right here, you get this really cool glowing um, outline. So these clips need to be the exact same thing. The top clip is just a normal white clip, and the bottom one has a color board. You change the color, adjust the saturation, adjust the exposure, and then you added a focus blur onto the um, clip right here. And you basically just created a kind of a really cool um, blue blur. So let's head over here to the scratch right here. And as you can see right here, you may ask yourself, wait a minute, it's red. How in the world did you um, turn it to become blue? So again, let's create a copy right here. Go to the top right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to head over to the search bar. You're going to type in, um, we'll go to all first. And you're going to type in hue saturation. So let's apply a hue saturation onto the top one right here. And I guess we can also apply one to the bottom right here. And let's head over here. Go to hue saturation and type in 210 right here. And there you go. You have created a blue one. Go to the bottom right here. And we'll just type in, I don't know, 200 right here. And then I believe I just ap applied a blur right here. So let's head over to blur, focus blur right there. And there you go, you've kind of created a different effect. I uh, maybe, actually I'll head back to the original clip. If I, I can't remember if I added anything else onto the bottom clip right here. Okay, so I also added um, a color board to that one too. So let's head over here, add a new color board. Uh, let's go to color board right here, adjust the exposure, and then adjust the saturation um, right here. And I guess you could mess with color, but let's just 
move this one up here and let's try a focus blur right there and there you go you have created a really cool effect right here so the bottom clip has a color board adjusted with a uh, um, exposure and saturation then you have a hue saturation turned to 200 and this bottom one you just have a focus blur right here you just have a hue saturation the top one and the hue is changed to 210 right here so let's head over to the x right here scroll down until we find it right here here is um, the x right here wait for it to render a little bit and as you can see right here you kind of have a little bit of an animated um, x right here so let's adjust the scale i don't know to about 50 percent right here let's basically create a copy right here or let's try that again so let's head over here to the clip right here hold down option and there you go you have created a copy and then what i did was at the bottom kind of the same thing with the glow effect added a color board right here adjusted the exposure um adjusted the saturation and then i turned the color to a blue color and then added a focus blur right here as you can see right there you can have a blur right here now what i also did right here is i went to position i believe i typed in negative 15 right here and then in the y I believe I typed in negative five, I believe I did. Okay, there we go. So there you, you created this really cool blue outline um, around the X right here. Let's wait for it to render and kind of let it play right here. As you can see, there's really cool blue outline around um, the X right here. So let's head over here to the original overlay right here. And again, I created a couple compound clips just to help make the layers look a lot nicer but there we go here is a different effect so let's head over here on the top one hue saturation hue change to 220 the bottom one i have a color board again increase the saturation increase the exposure a focus blur hue saturation change to 200 and then on this clip right here i mean this is actually i'll open up the compound clip right here so this top clip right here doesn't have anything but the bottom clip has a color board change and a focus blur effect right here and let's open this effect right here of course the top clip has nothing uh, applied to it but the bottom clip has a color board and a focus blur effect um, right here and there you go that's pretty much how you create this really cool um, paint effect right here and of course you don't actually have to add the glow effect or change the color but that's what I just decided to do because I think it looks pretty cool you also have this effect right here this drip transition I personally didn't find a great place to use this but you can definitely try out different um, places to use that effect right here and basically see if it um, applies to your effect and that's pretty much it of course you could adjust a whole bunch of different things but those are just a couple of the ideas um, that I came up with in a short period of time anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 130 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.